Now we will see the classification of the kinematic pairs. So these are broadly classified into three types. Out of that first we will see according to the type of relative motion between the elements. First one the sliding pair. When the two elements of a pair are connected in such a way that one can only slide to other, the pair is known as the sliding pair. The little consideration will show that the sliding pair has the completely constrained motion means you will get the motion in definite one direction. Here one example that is rectangular rod in a rectangular hole. Here this square bar slides inside this square hole. So this is the example of the sliding pair. Now second one the turning pair. When the two elements of a pair are connected in a such a way that only one can turn or revolve about a fixed axis of another link, the pair is known as the turning pair. A turning pair has also a completely constrained motion. Now this is one example, a shaft with collars at both ends fitted into circular hole. So here shaft it turns at the rotate about another uh, fixed uh, that square or sorry uh, circular hole. So this is the example of the turning pair. Now the third rolling pair. When the two elements of a pair are connected in such a way that one rolls over another fixed link, the pair is known as the rolling pair. If you see the example that ball and the roller bearing. So this is the example of the rolling pair. So what is exactly rolling? This ball it revolves about its own center. Again it rotates about the inner rest or the outer rest. So that is what the rolling pair. Third or the fourth screw pair. When the two elements of a pair are connected in such a way that one element can turn about the other by screw thread, the pair is known as the screw pair. Now again if you take the example of this, the lead screw with a nut bolt so which turns and moves axially. So that is the example of the screw pair. Next spherical pair, when the two elements of a pair are connected in a such a way that one element turns or swells about the other fixed element, the pair form is called a spherical pair. Take this example, this is again the paint stand. So where this spherical solid and this is a hollow spherical, they are fitted in such a way that the paint stand can move in any direction. So again the, take the example of the car mirror or ball and the socket jar. So these are the example of the spherical pair. Now the second classification according to the contact between the elements. First that is the lower pair. When the two elements of a pair have a surface contact when relative motion takes place and the surface of one element slides over the surface of the other, the pair form is known as rolling sorry lower pair so this is one example 
that is the square shaft and the square hole inside which this shaft moves means surface of this is totally contact with the surface of the hole so there is a surface contact between these two so that's why we can call it as a lower pair now second one the higher pair when the two elements of a pair have a line or point contact when relative motion takes place and the motion between the two element is partly turning and partly sliding when uh, then the pair is known as the higher pair so in higher pair the important thing is the contact between the two element is either point or the line now again take example of this the camp and the follower and here the contact between these two element is a point so this we can call it as a higher pair now the third classification that is the kinematic pairs according to the type of closure again these are classified into two type one the self closed pair when the two element of a pair are connected to give relative motion without help of any external force means these two element are in contact without any external force suppose this is the one element or one link we can say this is the second link and these two links are in contact without any external force so that is what we can say the self closed pair the second one force closed pair when two elements of a pair are not connected mechanically but are kept in contact by an action of external force so to keep in contact the two element here we need some additional external force so that's why we can call it as a force closed pair now again take example of this the cam and the follower so this is the cam and this is the follower these two elements are in contact but to keep in contact these two element we are using the spring so which exerts the force on the follower to keep these two element or the link in contact so whenever the force we are applying on this to keep in contact then that we can say it as a force closed pair now we will see a video based on this uh, which is taken from the youtube source it is mentioned here has a set of links connected with kinematic pairs that transmit and modify motion and forces. Now we'll take a closer look at kinematic pairs themselves. Here we have a collection of kinematic pairs. As the name suggests, any kinematic pair is made up of two bodies shown in red and green. These two bodies are capable of moving relative to each other, like this. So one body can be considered fixed and then the motion of the other body can be studied. Each of these bodies can then be connected to a different link. So as the two bodies move relative to each other, the two links will also move relative to each other. Next, we will name these pairs one by one. So here we have a prismatic solid sliding in a prismatic cavity. So this is called as a prismatic pair or a sliding pair. Next we have one body rotating inside the other. So this is called a revolute pair or a turning pair. In the third case we have a nut in which a bolt is engaging. So this is called as a screw pair or if you look at this projection which is helical and it is engaging with a helical groove so it is also called as a helical pair. 
The fourth one is commonly called as a ball joint, but in kinematics we will call this a spherical pair or a globular pair. And that is owing to its shape, a cavity and the solid that engages in it. Finally, we have these two pairs where one body is following the motion of another body with special shape or profile. Such pairs are called camps and followers. To recap, here is a prismatic or sliding pair, revolute or turning pair, helical or screw pair and globular or spherical pair. Now let us see how to classify them. One criteria for classification could be what keeps the two bodies together. If it is their shape, like over here, a prismatic solid is engaging in a prismatic cavity, a cylinder engaging in a cylindrical cavity or a, a helix engaging in a, a helical cavity and so on. So if the two bodies are kept together by virtue of uh, their shape, then they are called as the form closed pair. But if the two are kept together by virtue of some external force like that exerted by the spring here or by the shear weight or gravity, then such pair is called a force closed pair. Finally, the last classification is according to the contact between two bodies. Here the contact is made all over the surface, the prismatic surface. Here the contact uh, is across a cylindrical surface or a helical surface or a spherical surface. So when we have a spherical contact, uh, surface contact, they are called lower pairs. But in this case, the contact is occurring only along a line or a point. So such pairs are called as higher pairs.